Here is what the author, the Alexander Stephan, says. By this manifesto entitled, The Open World Manifesto, New Order Scientific Technological, called Cooperates, I salute, symbolically. The upcoming celestial age of Aquarius, which starts about 2,000 years after Christ and ends about 4,000 years after Christ, I combine facts, fiction, and fantasy. I use facts of science and technology and envelope them with fiction as I was augmenting those visible to any one facts with my invisible structures. And fantasy I used, too, as I was making visible to any one of what was hitherto invisible. The concept of the consciousness of time is frequently encountered in the manifesto. The whole human existence reality is viewed through the lens of the consciousness of time. Albert Einstein has a pedestal role in the manifesto as the first physicist to successfully treat the nature of time via the mathematical method. For that, I am thankful to him. In my imagination, she time helps me in clarification of the things, when my intellectual capacity is inadequate in doing so for that, I am thankful to her. She time is a fierce lady, she is rightful, unforgetful, and unforgiving. In my imagination, I do love to dance with her, but always being cautious of not stepping on her foot. The manifesto expresses my general ideas, opinions, and hypotheses. Included are my physics, and my fiction and fantasy. There are. As to the errors and blunders of a theorist, Albert Einstein had once said that they come when his arguments are erroneous and sloppy, or when the devil Lucifer led him by the nose with false hypotheses. He summarized that in the phrase, bowing low at the altar of stupidity. For this, among other things, I am thankful to Albert the Great. To summarize, some of my statements, opinions, assumptions, hypotheses, intellectual ramblings contradict the present day views. They may sound strange and even weird. To mitigate my predicament, I used an own tranquilizing phrase, more research is needed to confirm, or otherwise, my statements, opinions, assumptions, and intellectual ramblings. The future will show, if my intuition had been fruitful. I wouldn't be afraid of the bowing low at the altar of stupidity, if I was still here, below in my living years. And, if not, I wouldn't be afraid of the bowing low at the altar of stupidity in my non-living years, either in the up above, or the down below.